Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel, and I'm your host, Sam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, all my artists, creatives, crafters, and makers. Welcome back to The Lovely Lab. All right, guys, I'm just popping on today to do a quick project share and uh, let you guys be on your way so you can get to crafting. Now in my previous video I shared with you a couple of cards that I made for the handmade Christmas card swap that I'm participating in over at the Maker Exchange on Facebook um, and I realized that I've agreed to do another partner because we I think we had an odd number of participants so I didn't want to leave that person hanging so I agreed to swap with them as well so each of them will get one of these cards in addition to the other card that I showed and so I'm just gonna quickly just show you what um, I ended up with so using the Sizzix Framelits stamp um, this is by Caitlin Lizardi uh, and that's what it looks like all right there's a stamp on the back and then there's like the stars and ornaments and poinsettia or whatever, a bow. And so what I did was I stamped this sentiment onto the cardstock from the paper pad that I showed you, the uh, My Mind's Eye paper pad. And, uh, and then I also, and then I cut it out using the die. But then I also used the die to cut out a second piece of paper underneath there just to add some uh, contrast and dimension to it, you know. And so I thought that that came out really cute. And then because this paper has a little bit of uh, glitter on it, I didn't want to over embellish it. So I just put a little glitter on that star, popped it up on foam squares and added a little bit of washi to that just to keep in theme with the plaid you know and so there's a little bit of washi on the inside for that one now for this one if you remember from the last video I cut out a number of I stamped in and die cut a few of the reefs and so what I did for, with this one was I used the reef on, on the corner and then um, I cut, cut off the excess and then I used the excess that was left over on the inside here you see and then I put a, one of the Tim Holtz sentiments from the uh, sticker pack on the inside and then this one isn't doesn't have a second um, tree behind it because it just ran out but I did add um, I, I also stamped and cut out the word Lord and uh, put it on the tree now this one has a little bit of stickles on it if you can see there you can see that there a little bit of snow and then one of the little poinsettia bow type whatever and then the last one I did it in a different um, in a different um, I did it in portrait style um, this one does have the two and now this one I laid the second layer down first and then popped the tree up on foam tape you can see that there so the tree and the foam tape is resting on the base layer Lord. it is having a hard time focusing here on this one I glued them both together and then popped them both up okay so and then it, this has the word Lord and then I just use some scrap paper there and added one of the extra stars that I cut out from the last video uh, or snowflakes and then there's a star up there and they obviously both have some stickles on them because what is Christmas with a little bit of glitter right all right and then I, uh, I ran out of envelopes because I'm pretty sure I snagged one of the envelopes from the card pack that I bought from Dollar General the 10 for a dollar envelopes and cards um, so I had to make an extra one and then I also made these two to drop the cards and the um, extras that I plan on sending in there as well. So that's for that. Now moving on along to a couple of journals. Now I showed in my in the what's on my desk video 
I showed that I was working on this journal and in a previous video I also uh, in the I want to say that a fall one of the fall themed maybe the freebie video I'm not sure um, I'll put a card up there for reference once I remember which video it was in anyway so um, just really quickly this is um, the end of this this is the finished result for this now remember I'm left-handed so sometimes I have you know, I'm left-handed I know everybody isn't, but I do make things that I can use as it is, you know. So what I did was I used a little bit of um, seam binding, added this cute little bead charm onto the side here, onto the end. Um, it kind of looks like snow, the sequence does. Uh, but it just was a perfect match. I just pulled this out of my bead stash from, probably had it for about a good 10 years. Um, and so on the inside, this is just some um, mop-up pages, uh, and not cardstock, but file folders that I had from uh, quite some time ago, and just uh, added a little additional inking on there, and made it meet, made it you know fit what I was working with. So, um, so it has a couple little pockets here, and this is a envelope, uh, junk mail. Uh, this is scraps from a digital kit, some stamps that I received in Happy Mail, a little bit of trim up there. There is a journaling card right here. This comes from my fall, urban, autumn kit on Etsy. This is one of the collage sheets that I have, and I'm sure it'll go in a kit real soon. And this is from the, the Urban Autumn kit as well. Scrap papers, all of this is just papers that came from scrap. This is tr a true journal journal. This is not flips and flaps and tucks and all of that other stuff. It's really just a right, what is, what is that doing in there? Oh, you know, I gotta glue that down here. I think that is what, yeah, this is gonna get glued down here. Might as well do it while we're sitting. No, I got a something blocked in my drawer. Anyways, so yeah. And then in this last pocket here is another journaling card uh, with a little ta lace tab. Here is a journaling card um, that has some, um, what is it, uh, matte medium on it. I don't know if you can actually see. It has a light sheen that matte medium does. It's, it's matte, but it does have a, a very light sheen to it. Okay. So that is that one. And i got to remember to glue that page down. And now moving on to this beautiful little journal. Now let me just share with you. Like I said, I've been making jewelry since 2010, when my uh, the year my daughter passed away. That was what prompted me to start uh, making jewelry. Just to steady my hands and my mind. Anyway, so this is a resin a pendant that I made years ago and it has aged the resin has aged a little bit so it's a, a light yellow tint to it but I actually like it I personally like that oh, let me bring it up this so and it's an image of a tree you can see that and it's on this seam binding now this is my husband and son's tees. This is vintage, uh, vin some vintage shirts of my husband's. Like they're really old, so they are vintage. Um, some of my son's t-shirts, and then I just um, used what do you call it? Uh, fusible felt? No, not fusible felt. Uh, it was a fusible fabric. On, backed it on fusible fabric you know you have to iron it on and then I um, cut it to the sides that I wanted it and I wanted more of this on the back than on the front because I wanted to be able to put a, a plate a journal plate a book plate up here which I haven't gotten to yet but aside from that this is finished um, and I haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna put this in my Etsy shop or not um, if I do the link will be below if I don't it probably will be mailed off to one of our subbies or one of my friends anyways okay so moving on to the inside we have the journal pockets 
Well, we have pack a couple of pockets with a couple of journal cards. Okay. And the first page is vellum. It's a good amount of writing space in here, so that's just some vintage lace. I have quite a bit of it given to me from a friend. I've stenciled throughout um, this book, and I thought it. I think it came out really nice. This came. This comes from the Urban Autumn Journal Kit. Then we have this page here, which is ledger paper, printed ledger, ledger paper, and an area to write. There's that beautiful door. I love the way it sits and how the colors contrast there. Um, then we have coffee dye, a coffee dyed pocket. You can write here, but it's a pocket. So on the inside is a larger journaling card. I did not stitch on that because I didn't want to interfere with the lace so I just punched the edges I think it came out rather cute and then there's some coffee dyed paper on the back a little bit of washi that I received from Tam from Tam's journal some Bible journaling on the budget um, a decorative page there from the kit uh, ledger paper with a little bit of stenciling so you can still write on here and it'll be legible um, more journaling space with a little cluster up at the top. This is actually um, when I taught Sunday school. Um, I used to print off our Sunday school lessons for the classes. And um, sometimes the printer would act up. And so I just put it all, you know, I'd be rushing, trying to get out the door to get to the church. And uh, so I would oftentimes just pull the, the missed ones off and put it off to the side. And this particular day I realized, you know, let me hold on to it because it's got color in it and I wanted to use it when I did the coffee dyeing. So honestly, on this side, you'll see some of the wording, which does, I, I actually like it because, you know, it's, it's talking about Jesus, you know, and on this side, you just get tons of color, you know, blue and red, a little bit of green. And here is the, one of the journal cards that I made, um, stamped some using the one of the uh, stamp uh, leaf stamp sets that I have um, matte medium on the outside collaged a little bit of lace up top then that's vintage lace and I just think I dyed dyed that and this is a belly band made out of um, a t-shirt backed with the fusible fabric and some vintage um, lace right there here's some more of that vintage uh, dress shirt right there um, journal page another one from the kit stencil page page from the kit there is one of the journal cards from the kit and this is one of the pages that came from my son's first grade first or second grade um, you know starting to read books and, and at the bottom you can say you can you can see where it says you can find water in tide pools and on that side, you can find water in oceans. And I liked the, the picture, so I kept it. Put a journal card in there. And then this is junk mail. Uh, it's just an envelope made out of, uh, it's coffee dyed and made out of junk mail. You know, stuff that we get coming in the mail. Um, covered with some scrapbook paper and one of the printable collage sheets that I have. And then this is a pocket that you can put whatever you want to in it. Journaling spot, journaling spot, and then moving back on over to this side, this is graph paper. Um, here is one of the journaling cards, and this is a mop-up page. Um, but you know, you can always use them, so don't throw them, throw them out. Um, this is a cluster made from the word tiles from the journal, Urban Autumn Journal Kit, the leaf from there. And then there's a little bit of my, I don't know if you can see it that good. It's a little bit of my jelly print back there. Uh, some of the scraps and then some fabric back there and vintage lace. This is a, you know, layers of beautifulness. Um, the another belly band. I, there's plenty of journaling cards that will come with this but I did not want to include it in it because it's bulky already and you know if somebody wants to use whoever gets this they'll either get 
they'll get the journaling cards, then they can either put them in at their own time or, or use them in another journal or what have you. But anyways, this uh, word tile, I think I, let me see if I can, it says fall, but I don't know if you can see the, uh, it's embossed. It's embossed, so it's got a little bit of shine to it, and it feels really cute. Okay, there we go. Good Lord. This, my lighting is not that good this morning. Um, okay, and so this is the other side of that pocket. And here we have just a, a flip-out journaling card, you know, two-sided. You can, you can write on here. And this doesn't have a whole lot of embellishments in this journal. It will come with some um, some die cuts, you know, or some fussy cut die um, images. But um, I didn't want to over and overdo it. I would like for the user to be able to embellish as they'd like and as they see fit. Okay, here's the other side of that page. There's the other pocket. And moving right back through, there's the other part for that journaling um, that vintage dress shirt with the uh, ruffle this is a little pocket there and then we're moving on through to the back there's the farmers market and the ledger page and then the other side to the coffee sheet and then here's a little pocket stencil Last sheet, vellum, journal card, which I thought came out really pretty. This came from the kit as well. And another small journaling card. Now, again, um, this journal is made from all of, from one of all of those, um, <laughs> Vo voting, you know, register to vote in, you know, presidential election uh, campaign and send, you know, all of those that we received in the mail. I held on to them and we uh, gessoed them to be used for future projects. So this is uh, that journal. Um, again, if I decide to put it in the Etsy shop, there'll be a link below. I won't leave you guys hanging. And obviously, because you are watching this video, if it's available, um, I will definitely put a coupon code down there for you guys, all right? So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little project share. And until we're back here together on YouTube, guys, remember, wash your hands. Say your prayers, <laughs> wear your masks, and until we're back, stay encouraged, stay blessed, and stay creative and crafting. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the crafty community, and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now stay tuned for more from Libby's Luckies, your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.